know anything, man. I don't know anything either. I think they just want to make him mad when he looks at the VODs <laughs> later on. Like, what? Anyway, here it is. Yo, they gave him his Mexican flag. He, yeah, dude. He, he he claims that he's Mexican, dude. <laughs> we'll see what his mother says. So anyway, here we go. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, ass. That was sick. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to say typical ass fat, but that was a typical ass fat moment. That was very, very, very good. Moon coming back, though. Again. Saw the patience right there by the moon. Oh! It's excellent. Uh, short happened to Waveland back. Yeah. And these two guys, by the way, they teamed up this weekend, too. You know, ass fat and the moon. The team kill. Yep. Oh, nice. So uh, obviously, recently there's been a, a lot of discussion on this matchup specifically. Okay. Oh a bunch yeah. Of, true. Uh, Fox players basically saying that Marth wins the matchup. What are your thoughts on that? Well, a lot. At least recently, a lot of them have been fe um, feeling that way due to the fact that you know, if you look at some of the tools that Marth has, right? Some of the Fox mains feel like in order for them to have to get inside, that they're gonna have to commit. While Marth, you know, has that amazing like dash dance, and it can be rough to deal with, especially coupled with yes. the. Uh, with the grab range, and let's not even let's not even forget the mm. fact that I mean I feel like Martha at times has to come in as well. It's more so the punish game. The punish yeah. game hurts so much. Fox, it, uh, he basically telegraphs his uh, recovery, making yeah. it. Oh, Moon could have down it, it, it there. It has a lot to do with the, the difficulty of execution for yeah. both parties. Opening spur kill right there. You know. Yeah. That's definitely. one thing I was telling, uh, talking about with the blur. So in, in my mind, the matchup is somewhat of a 51-49 in the sense that I believe Marth has a very, very tiny advantage, but uh, it's very even still. I still feel like, uh, in my head, I feel like Fox wins everything. Yeah. That's how that's how my mind works. So, I mean, of course, if something, you know, maybe difficult, maybe it's like even or whatever because of the fact that, like we said before, the punish game is what's, what makes it very uh, tough for Fox. Like, Fox would be playing really well. One grab. And all of a sudden, you know, you get so much damage or a loss of a stock. You get caught near the edge. You could be done. But Fox also has sick combos on Marth, too, you know. Fox's combos on Marth are bad. Um, he has, and it, he could get it from, like, Shine, from, like, actually a myriad of tools, you know, like a lot of his tools. And he could Shine spike him. He has the Marth killer option. So. I just love this matchup. This matchup is one of the matchups that define Melee as a game, you know? It's beautiful. You know, back then, I used to talk about how much I loved seeing uh, Falco versus Marth. It's one of the classics, but, you know, Falco's is slowly becoming a thing of the past, but we have a few, you know, ancient relics and some new ones that are, you know, still trying to keep the character alive, which I I'm happy to see it happen, you know. Hopefully we get to see more of them in 2017. Uh, in any event right here, Moon missing his punishes, you know. See, that's one of the things, you know, if Moon doesn't allow, uh, if he allows S-Fat to just uh, get out of these combos, it makes it way easier for him in this matchup. But Moon's uh, neutral. Again, something that we've been talking about. Oh, no, double up tilt. Okay. Oh. I'll throw a tipper. Yeah. It has to close, be a close. Okay. Oh. Nice. Mixing it up. Hack stash with more. There it is. Moon's combos on platforms, though. That's where he shines. Nice. High recovery again. Yes. Good drift back, too, by us back. Moon going for the third swing right there, though. A lot as fed to escape. Oh, no, uh, yeah, of course. Moon getting a little bit too close there, you notice. As fed with the uh, invincible ledge dash. Gotta watch out. Nice. Yeah, he set up for the uh, tech chase, but Fox McCloud could come oh, back from amazing distances the angle. as long as he's able to aim for the stage. Yes. So, Moon taking the first game. I got to say, man, uh, Moon is looking so strong, so yeah. strong. Definitely. Here we go. People clapping it up. They want to see another game. Nice. Oh, OK. I like that by Espen. Noticing that Moon wasn't going to be able to get enough time to get a regrab. So challenge the dash in with the up smash. Ooh, oh. up smash after up smash. Yo, as fat. Very, very good first stock here. Very quick, too. Uh huh. You saw how he was right outside of the range of the fair, managing to sneak in that grab? Yes. Oh, okay. Moon with the risky nair right there, but. He was looking for the shine spike. Exactly. He's trying to find that dead zone where he just jumps in. Oh, very, very late on the nair. Uh, jab. 
Oh, well, I would have loved. I know it's a very dumb idea, but I would have loved to see Esfa do a wall jump shine there. Oh my gosh! I managed to pull one off in tournament this this, this time around, so I'm happy. Yo, <laughs> yo, Esfa. The punish is here, dude. Getting a lot of good reads on Moon's movement. When a Fox player understands where you're trying to go and keeps finding the right places to put that up smash, it gets very scary. Here it is. Good DI by Esfet, though. And a oh. tip. Since he was on the other side of the stage, Esfet able to come back. Moon a little late to the party there on that air punish. Double jump. Moon a big fan of F tilt. Was able to get that set up into the back here. Oh. Oh. And that's. That, that, that. It's way easier, it seems, for Marth to get a lot of these edge guards too, you know? Yeah. You shut down the side B option really well. Sometimes Foxes, if they want to go for shine spikes, a lot they of, potentially uh, get hit by a B. A know? lot of Marth or Sheik players have this saying where if a Fox is ever below the height of the ledge, yeah. he's dead. There's no yeah. reason why she, he should ever come back. Yep. Right there, Moon ending the combo early, allowing us fat to basically zip back on stage. Oh! Us fat. Oh, I like the the idea, but uh, a little bit of a flub in the execution yeah. there. Right now, it's trying to catch Moon's landings. Good interruptions on the... Uh, nice. There it is. Catching the shine right there as Moon, you know, basically swung a little bit too close to the edge. That's what he needs. Confidence is in his um, edge guards. He just needs to go out there and look for him. Oh, boy. Oh, oh my boy. God. Like I told you, man, you give this man a platform and he'll put on a show. Fourth throw? Yes. Good oh, setup, oh. but Moon with the oh my goodness, he was able to just Do you stay think alive. If he just did the single jab, that might have worked. Double jab actually really helps in that situation. It's just that if you check out Moon's DI, he did the right thing. Moon was doing a lot of waiting right now on S Fat, and S Fat trying to beat him to the punch and it's just attacking oh. first, which worked out super well here. Oh, oh S Fat, please just Yo, I just my mind exploded right there. My mind, I don't Oh no! Grab ledge, my man. Oh, no! It's fat! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, Zach. my God! <laughs> what the heck? That's I'm fat. sorry for screaming, but that was not expected. I don't know what to say, man. Oh. I don't know what to say. I need water. I need water. Not like this, man. Not like this <sighs> here we go we're running it back to dreamland s fat playing so well in the beginning ah <sighs> okay raise my head hurts oh oh don't do it to him that movement and now okay sends him out la luna yeah is this a mexican flag buffing uh -oh. the moon Wait, would this be the Moon's tournament with it, SFAT in attendance? You know, a lot of people. Just be. A lot of people are thinking that you know, looking at this event, this might be SFAT's to win, right? Yeah, definitely but, uh, the favorite coming yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're looking at the seating and everything, and SFAT's track record of just such impressive wins. But dang, Moon right now looking like a thorn in his side, and sometimes even uh, SFAT's uh, flubs too. Oh no, like that. Oh, As man. Fat. Yeah, he's flubbing. He is definitely flubbing here. A little bit of sloppiness from S-Fat, allowing Moon and to you capitalize. You would think this is one of the matchups he would probably feel really comfortable We've in, We've right? seen him do well against people like Mewtwo King. Yeah. But props to Moon, though. He's doing well in here. Definitely, definitely all the credit goes to him. Yep, yep. Knocking S-Fat off. Okay, probably looking for a high recovery. Oh, Another man. flub. That's fat. Not looking good, man. Not looking good. If he loses this stock, I just want to see him meditate, do whatever it takes to just come back and plow through the loser's bracket. That full jump fair dare was actually super sick for Moon. That's fat. Right, is right. turning it Let's on. go. Let's go, my man. There we go. Oh, wait. What? All right. Still going turbo. Here it is. Oh, he's moving now. And we've seen before a scenario where Esfet was almost able to make a comeback against the Moon. And, and Gamal. Oh. oh. Moon with a W. 
putting himself in the grand finals. Winner's side against SFAT. What was that, a 3-0? 3-0. 3-0? Very quick 3-0.